What is up, you guys? It is your boy, John, here from Puma Plot. Welcome back to another Mod Times, of course, with your boy, John. Today, guys, we have the low loader pack. Holy, holy crap, it is a low loader. Uh, I'm not a fan of this. The actual trailer is $1,000. That seems a little, uh, a little lame. A little, little underpriced, I should say, not lame. Uh, you can customize the color of each of the pieces. We also have a dolly, if you wanted to actually daisy chain them. Or pull it behind a tractor or a truck with a rear hitch instead of a fifth wheel. And you have the adapter to go up to a semi-truck as well. You can just pull the trailer with the truck or you can get the adapter here and use it. So it is absolutely massive. You can put two of the biggest in-game combines on there. Yeah, they fit fairly well. They do fit fairly well. Of course, I had to make the trailer green. It's got three axles. And two axles across, so you have wheels for days. Uh, another thing, whoever made this is after my heart. Boys, there's beacons everywhere. Just saying. Beacons for days. Rear hitch, so that you could daisy chain them if you wanted to. I don't think you would really want to. You're going to need a truck with some more power. Uh, here's the, uh, the, uh, the dolly as well. And you can tell it's got just wheels for days. Just saying. And beacons, by the way. Four beacons on there. So let's jump in. Oh, here's the front part. Just a little, little, little hitch here. Take some weight off the truck itself. Um, you see these in real life. They're actually pretty cool. So let's jump in the truck, fire it up, turn the beacons on. And uh, we're not going to take the dolly with us. We are just going to take our two combines. And as you can tell, the truck is uh, a little sluggish. A little sluggish. It does have, it's hard to show you guys. It does have, of course, the folding ramps on the back that fold down and it actually has a very very good locking script with x on the keyboard it uh seems to be fairly good so yeah or not not fairly very good very very good so let's go for a little bit of a run here guys and try to get our speed up i like the chrome rims i like the beacons i like the lights uh the rear hitch if you wanted to daisy chain i i don't see daisy chain in these personally um Maybe if you had a truck with just mondo, mondo, mondo horsepower. But this is the in-game stock lizard truck. And as you can see, I'm struggling to get up to, you know, 35 miles an hour. So let's do some turn in here and show you guys how this works. It actually works fairly well, to be honest, guys. It really does. So the rear axles on the trailer do steer which help you get around the curves just a little bit as well. Let's do some sharp turn in here just for fun. So you guys can see those axles back there really turning. You can see them, there you go, all turned. And it does help, of course. Now, you probably don't wanna turn that sharp with it because then you're just making tires go sideways and that's usually not a good idea. But you can see it does handle around curves uh, fairly well. It might handle a little bit better if you just had it hooked right to the truck instead of the extra pivot point. But I kind of like the extra pivot point. Uh, it makes it look legitimate. The width is a little uh, a little insane. But if you guys are looking for a big trailer to haul, maybe big butt around on, or some combines around on, or something that's a little bit bigger than uh, anything else that you've seen, this is your trailer, guys. Link is in the description down below. As always, if you guys have a mod you would like me to take a look at, Make sure you drop me an email with a link to the mod at gmail.com, and I will gladly check it out. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that like button for more. Subscribe if you have not already done so. And as always, toodles.